What's up everybody, Nintendo Nanda one here. We are playing Majora's Mask once again, and we are at the Owl Statue. We just finished the temple in the last episode. We are done with Iconic Canyon. And if you guys take a look at this, we only need two more full heart containers and one more heart piece to get another container. So, basically, we only need one more heart piece, and then we have pretty much all the heart pieces that you can get until the final area, and then we'll be done with the game. Well, once we beat the boss and all that. So, we're going to get the last heart piece in this episode. And actually, it's really cool that it's right here. So, in order to get there, all we need to do is swim up this tunnel that looks like it's going to nowhere. And there's an... I almost said an elevator. Pardon me, though. I'm a little bit tipsy right now. So, this... I don't know. I might say some stupid stuff. But anyways, we need to swim into here. This kind of reminds me of Zora's Domain, if you ask me. And uh, down this hole, it's nothing but just a rupee chest, so I'm going to ignore it because we don't really need rupees for anything in this game anymore because we pretty much are at the end of it, and we already did everything that really requires rupees. So you get to this area here, and you come across, uh, you couldn't get into it earlier because you needed the light arrows to activate the sun here, so I'm going to go ahead and throw those on. Let's get this out of the way here because this is the last thing we need to do to get the final heart piece in the game. Well, I don't know how to say it, but here. You guys already know what the ending is, but this is the last heart piece we get in this area. So, we got this guy, which was the Poe dude from Ocarina of Time, and it seems somehow you have managed to send the Icona's wandering spirits into pace. Peace. Can't read. But outside of Icona, there are still swarms of wandering spirits with lingering regrets. Oh yeah? The ones in this room want to meet you again and have been waiting for you here quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. Oh, are they going to give me something nice? I'm sure they'll welcome you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they will too. Maybe they'll give me biscuits and gravy and mit me, knit me mittens for the winter. Okay, so I'm going to start at this right room. Work my way left because there's four rooms. And let's see. The first one is indeed this guy. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the great fairy sword to you guys while battling this guy. He's kind of a pain in the ass though because he does that move. But if I do my jump A move, I'll be able to hit him real easily. Especially with this sword, it'll take him out in two hits. So, very easy battle right there. Simple. Oh shit, I forgot about the bomb. <laughs> Throws that bomb at you. I love it. I love it. Alright. These chests all just contain rupees. I don't even want to get them. They're like 100 rupees each. We don't need rupees anymore though. Like, it's just a waste of time to even collect them right now. Okay, uh, next we'll go here. Oh god, I think this is the annoying boss. Is it that? Is it? Yep, it's this butthole. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> Look back at me, fool. Alright. So he's got a lot of bubbles here. I don't want to deal with this asshole again. Uh, let's see. Let's try some light arrows real quick. Bam! That did one. Alright, we'll give it that bubble. That ain't gonna work. Normally you can get him hit, you can actually get a hit in on him. I'm just gonna go in with the sword. We're just gonna spin attack. Because this is the best way to do this. This thing's got a lot of range on it, so it's really easy to just spin attack and get him. Look at that. We're going to take some damage during this, but it doesn't even matter. Because all I'm going to do is just get rid of as many of these as I can right off the bat. Come over here, you little bastard. Give me all bubbles. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I'm just going to keep spinning. Alright, we're, we're getting a lot, so that's good. Oh no, stop locking on. It's not good when we lock on. There we go. We should almost have him done here. I'm just seriously button mashing my C stick and spinning my control stick around just doing these swings. Alright, that should be enough. Let's get out some arrows here. We'll get out the regulars. Oh, it still actually has a lot. Come on, open up your eye. Damn it. There you go. 
All right, let's get rid of these. They'll eventually all come towards me. Wow, I killed him. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize I hit him while I was spinning it. Doing the spin attack. Well, I guess that's the best way to do it. Just spam the attack over and over again. That works. Normally, you have to arrow him in the eyes. He runs around the room like a psycho. But we didn't. Okay, let's see. Um... I don't even know what this- oh, I think I remember him. Yeah, it's this fool. Uh, he's annoying too. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with the fairy sword. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't hit him. How does that not kill him? Oh, shit. Where are you, you fool? Alright. You're over here now. I'm gonna get you with that. I can't believe I missed him. It's over here. Fool. Alright, I guess we'll just arrow him. Since he's being a little biz quick. Yes, that hurt. If I can get that jump A in, we'll be good. Alright, he should run around now, and then I think we just have to get like one or two more hits on him, and he's dead. He dead. He dead now. Where you at, fool? Oh, there you are. Done. You're dead. I love this sword. It is so powerful. Wait until you see the next room. It's embarrassingly easy. It's so funny. Alright. Let's get to it. Put this thing away. I don't need it anymore. Oh, I, what? I couldn't have my bunny hood on earlier. No! Oh. Now I gotta go all the way over here. And able to get up there. Oh my god. I got a headache. I think I drank a little too much tonight. I only went out for, like, uh, just a buffalo wild wings. Oh my god. Just had a few drinks, some wings with a buddy. I didn't even stay for the Hawks game. I should have, though. But I have a headache now. <laughs> Alright. Watch how pathetic these guys are. Just gotta hit them once with this thing and they're dead. Look at that. <laughs> One hit and they're done. That is so funny. I love it. Alright, yeah, we don't need that. We don't need your chests. Where's the exit? Oh, get out of here. Ah, there it is. No, that's the, this way, then. This room is confusing, because the door's hidden behind that rock. It's hard to find my way out. Alright. And sure enough, he's back. <laughs> you really are an amazing person, Nintankid. It seems you've somehow managed to heal their souls. Maybe I shall vanish soon myself. Well, then. <laughs> Oh, he's vanishing, indeed. And he leaves us behind a nice treasure chest. What could be inside? I don't know. Alright. What is gonna be in it? What is gonna be in it? I don't know. I pretty much already told you what's gonna be in it, so there's no point of even acting like I don't know, or like you guys don't know. But, it is the final heart piece. So, we got another piece of heart to make our final heart container of this area. We are done. We are done! Iconic Canyon is no more. This game is almost no more. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Give me some magic. Okay, so all we need to do now is wait until the third final day and play the Oath to Order at the uh, clock tower there, and we're done. What is this white thing? Why is it there? Why was it there? I don't get that. Is that a door? Oh, it, maybe it's an entrance to another area? I don't know. Because there's one up there, too. Huh. I don't know. There's sack on. That ball sack. Okay, so I'm just gonna head over to Clocktown and probably save over in Clocktown because really there's nothing else I can do in here. We just gotta warp to the third day and then we gotta go to the clock tower. Because that's really all the ow. These assholes are still here. I thought you guys would be away. Now that I killed the boss. The twin mold. Those ugly creatures. Wait, why don't I just warp there instead of running through here like a ding ding? Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh, that's the right song. I'm playing it the wrong way. I kept doing it a right or down right up instead of down left up. 
like an idiot. Shows the last time I played this game. That was like a week and a half ago, maybe? I don't know. That was a very long time ago, but whatever. Let's get to the clock tower statue. I will statue here so we can just save and be right there for next time. Because really, there's nothing else I can do right now with the amount of time we have left in this video. So I'm just going to save right here and quit playing. And I will see you guys next time in Majora's Mask part, uh, I don't know, 89, 90, something like that. One of those, somewhere near there. And uh, we will start the final part of this game, finally. This LP is almost gone on for a year. I checked the other day when I first posted a video for it. It's embarrassing how long it took, so I just want to get it done. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video. Helps the channel out a lot and all that crap that you guys already know, blah, 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 blah. And I will see you guys next time. Take care and have a good day.